Hello, my 3D printer peeps. Today, I've been tasked with tinkering with a Chinese AI generative tool. I am going to demonstrate how to use this tool to use a text prompt to create a 3D model and print it. Let's pop over to the website and we'll get started right now. This website is still mostly in Chinese, so I will be using Google Translate to translate the website to English. It works surprisingly well. You can create models using text to 3D or even image to 3D where you can upload a sketch and it can use that sketch to create a model. There's a lot to do on this website. We can create short movies, video games, animated 3D models, virtual pets, 3D artwork, GIFs, emojis, and so much more. You can do this through text prompts, uploading photos, or even sketches and drawings. I am going to focus on one specific feature today, and that is using a text prompt to create a 3D model and then 3D print that model. Let's start by translating this page to English. If you log in with Google Chrome, it should prompt you to do so. To trigger this manually, click the three dots right here. Scroll down and look for translate. Click on translate and then choose Chinese simplified to English. When you click on English, you'll notice the website has switched from Chinese to English. Not every single prompt can be translated, but most of them are, and you should have very little problem navigating this site. Let's go to the AI creation tool and instead of using an image, I'm going to go to Vincent 3D and use a text prompt. Let's try something easier to 3D print. How about sitting beagle dog? I will choose texture style cartoon and click on generate. All right, and here we are. They're kind of cute. I think it would be easier to print one without a collar, but oh my God, this one's so cute. Let's take him. Obviously, we don't need the textures, so we could have went ahead and rendered him without the textures. Of course, we can convert him to a textureless white mold by clicking white mold. And there you go our doggy without the textures. This gives you a better idea of what the model will look like for printing. Let's go ahead and export him. I will choose OBJ. If you'd like, you can choose STL. OBJ is similar to STL. Choose the format you prefer and press download. Open up the slicer of your choice. I will choose Bamboo Studio. The file will download as a zip. Inside that zip will be the textures and the OBJ file. For 3D printing, we will use just the OBJ file. I am going to drag my dog onto the print bed of Bamboo Studio. I am going to say yes when it asks to scale to millimeters. Here is our dog. He looks a little tiny. Let's scale him up. I'm going to go 225% and let's orientate him more appropriately for 3D printing. I'll click on him. I'll do lay on face and I'll pick the best looking face, this one. I don't like how it appears he has multiple heights here. I am going to use the cut tool and bring it way down and just make a little cut right there so that all of his paws, legs, and lower surfaces will be flat and even with each other and touching the print bed. Perform cut. I've got a warning about non-manifold edges. Sure, go ahead and say yes. Many times you can get away with just ignoring that. Our cut has been completed. We'll just go ahead and click on this right here and press the delete key. Recenter our model. 
Let's turn on supports. I will use tree supports. Let's use slim. I'm going to turn off, remove small overhangs. It might be a little excessive. Let's go ahead and check on build plate only. There we go. Again, maybe a little excessive, but at least we know we have a decent chance of the model printing successfully. I have black, blue, gray, and tan available. Let's make our doggo tan. Let's enter the paint tool and make his nose black. And let's give him blue eyes. Because multicolor printing is very time consuming, we'll leave it at that. I'm gonna go ahead and send our AI generated dog from Hoon Yuen to an X1 Carbon printing with multicolor using an AMS2. And there it is, an AI generated sitting dog. I printed it in multicolor using a Bamboo Lab X1C and it came surprisingly well. I'm actually pretty impressed. This took very little effort and came out really nice. It's super cute. So go ahead and give it a try and let me know what you make in the comments. I'm Mr. Greg. This is an AI generated dog from Hoon Yuen. I hope I said it correctly, and you're on 3D Rundown.